What's up everybody? Matt here with Kraken Packs MTG. Today we have a box of Commander Legends. This is just a regular draft box. These have what 24 packs, 20 cards per pack, something like that. But this one is sponsored by a Facebook group member that just decided to go by Secret Santa. I'm gonna open this box for him, but he has also decided that he is in the spirit and he was gonna pony up and he was gonna give away a Commander Legends booster box to one lucky viewer. This will be announced in my Facebook group, so you'll have to join the Facebook group to figure out if you want or not. And you'll have to be in there commenting and being active. But the Facebook group is Cracking Packs MTG as well. We do live breaks, etc. in there just about every night of the week. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment because that gets you in on the giveaways. And uh, we're giving away a lot of stuff. We've already given away three Crimson Vow bundles this month. We're going to give away a Crimson Vow booster box, and we're almost to 15,000 subs. I think we're about 80 away. If we can hit that, we're going to uh, we're gonna give away another booster box. So without further ado, I have no idea why I shuffled these, but I did. There we go. So we're going to start with pack number one for Secret Santa. And I got my uh, my Secret Layer playmats in the day, so we're, uh, we're rocking Zender Split and Okun here. It's been a very long time since I opened this set. Um, it seems to be aging a little bit better than it was. Of course, we have the Jeweled Lotus, the Mana Drain, Vampiric Tutor, Hole Breacher used to be a hit, Aurora Phoenix, Abomination, Prava, and a Foil Yurlock. So two rare pack there. We have, uh, what else is in here? The uh, the Partner Lance, the Opposition Agent, Akroma, Sakashima, and just tons of playable commons and uncommons. If you're new to Magic and you're just getting started and uh, you're wanting to get into Commander, and if you want to buy a booster box just for the pack cracking experience, Staff of Domination, nice little card there, I recommend getting a draft booster box. This Foil Mythic, woo! A draft box of Commander Legends to get you started, and if you can swing it, a set box of Modern Horizons 2. And then from there, you can get into some uh, some spicier stuff like Battle Bond. That's probably what I would start with. I'd start with Commander Legends Draft Box, Modern Horizons 2 Set Box, and then as you build your collection, build a build a little bit of cash up, get you a Battle Bond box as well. And uh, from there, you should be able to build plenty of really good Commander decks. Uh, Arcane Signet, very nice. Another 9 Mana Mythic, uh, Bell Borsha, and a Foil Valakut Invoker. And if you have the, uh, if you already have a couple of the pre-con commander decks, you can definitely, definitely use these booster boxes to upgrade those. And currently, these uh, these Commander Legends booster boxes, these things are slick. Pile issues already. Look at that. It's like they're they're hovering. Must be some sort of static electricity since it's winter, and we're on a brand new neoprene playmat. I don't know. But you can get these for a little over 100 bucks these days, and it's I think it's a good a good value for what you get out of it. Regent, Krark with no thumbs. Two, a triple rare, Jessica. What a pack. And these uh these planeswalkers out of here. We only have uh the Doom of Fools and Thrice Reborn, I believe. The only two planeswalkers. And they do not show up very often, so that's a that's a nice little surprise there. Uh, my friend Chewy, Dr. Chewy as we refer to him as. Um, he can pretty much tell you with, when he sees the first couple of mythics out of a box, he can tell you which uh, which big mythic you're gonna get because these boxes, they're kind of track printed, seeded, however you wanna say it, court. Um, pretty similar most of the time. And uh, he can tell you if it's a, a Lotus Drain or a Vampiric Tutor box nine times out of 10. Pretty neat little skill he has there. I, I can do that with Iconic Masters. I've opened so much of that, I can pretty much tell you what uh, what your mythics are going to be. And what are we going to get here? Kamal's Will. I have to do multiple stacks of commons there. Felix, Malcolm, Moss Diamond. Wondering when we'll hit that etch foil. This was the introduction to etch foils. I think they did them better in this set um, than they did in Modern Horizons 2. The ones in Modern Horizons 2 are kind of muted and cloudy compared to these. 
And in the draft box, you'll typically get one or two of those. Uh, Findhorn Elves, Murder, Iona's Judgment, Val. There's the Opposition Agent. Nice little hit here. Agent Gore Muldrak, the Salamander Man. <laughs> I say something about etched cards, and etched cards show up. It's funny how I manifest things like that. I promise I don't repack these. I don't have the time. It's not a... Uh, it's not my it's not it's not something I would ever like to do. Ooh, that's a pretty good hit. Apex Devastator. That guy's gone up in value a lot. Radiant. Una's Trickster. Iona's Judgment. Sneaky little prismatic piper back there in the back. So I think with the Apex Predator, I think that may be the big mythic hit for a box. I hope that's not it. Hopefully we'll get a little more beef out of this one. But if, I'm, if I remember correctly, like I'm not an expert like Dr. Chewy, but if I was, I would probably already know if we were going to get a scroll rack or not. I feel like if we do get another big mythic, it'll be the scroll rack instead of the Tudor, the Lotus, or the Drain. Flamekin Herald, Arumi, Lantern, another sneaky little Piper. That is Seb McKinnon art though, so that's uh, always happy to hit those. Speaking of Seb McKinnon, him and Rebecca, just, uh, Rebecca had a, uh, Rebecca Gay had a, uh, a Kickstarter, and she had some play mats, and I completely missed out on it, and I regret it immensely, because I don't think anybody likes play mats more than I do. Laboratory Drudge, she actually had a collaboration, it was her and Seb McKinnon, and I'm not gonna lie, I would give my left toe to have that play mat, probably. Kodama of the East Tree, Defiant Salvager. So we're about halfway through this box now. So far, it's a pretty, pretty solid box. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing to blow us away. Just a lot of just solid, playable cards. Fencing Ace, Body of Knowledge, Thalese, Halana, Eye Blight. So purple packs are best. Would you consider this pack blue or purple? What is your opinion on that? Opal Palace, Foundry, Maelstrom Colossus, Sphere, Archon of Coronation. For our next Mythic, Bearclaw, Trapper, and a Silverback Shaman. Opal Palace, Scab Goliath. Is that a double tap on the Opal Palace? Did we get two in a, two Opal Palaces in one pack? Slash the ranks. Rugrats. Arkelos, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Rummaging Goblin. I don't know if anybody saw some of the uh, the art for, for Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, but we do have some turtle art, and he looks like he might be a ninja. Hold my breath for uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle crossover in Kamigawa. Hopefully that happens. There we go, there's our first partner land. Nice little hit with a spectator scene. Tago and his rock, Singer, Dark Baron, and a foil ripscale predator. So we have one, this is the, the last card out of the second stack, or last pack out of the second stack, excuse me. Um, so this will be, what is this, 16 packs deep? Two thirds of the way done. Still searching for that big hit, Keeper of the Cord. This is one of my pet cards out of the set. I really, really like this guy a ton. Wolven Familiar, Power Stone Engineer, Foil Commander Sphere, and the Monarch for when you want to be the target of the table. Pack 17 out of 24. I think that math. That math checks out. Bio Waste Blob. That's what happens when you eat Taco Bell nearly every day. Familiar Chieftain Skeleton. Try to keep these in frame a little better. Still searching for that Lotus. There's just something about it. When you hit that card, the excitement, the adrenaline rush, 
Second partner land, Undergrowth Stadium. Box is picking up a little bit. We hit two partner lands now. It's still take one or two more and one more big mythic. Heck, we'll even take a whole breacher. Surely one day he'll be able to be played again, right? Fingers crossed. Maybe yes, maybe no. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Zats will. Kangi. And a sword jack there. Orzov Advocus. Ooh, a Rings of the Bright Hearth. This is like a $30 to $50 card for the longest time when it was just a Lauren, Lauren Block Rear. A little Thrall token in there in the back. Just a few packs left. Siren Storm Tamer, one of my favorite cards. This is originally out of Ixalan, I think. I'm, woo, there's that third partner land. Let's go. Kachow, Foil Thought Vessel. One more Mythic. That doesn't cost nine mana. We'll even take a Commander's Plate at this point. Three Visits, that's an expensive uncommon. Court of Ire. Master Smith, Redbeard, and a Fencing Ace. Three more shots at Glory here. Command, lots of Command Towers. I remember Command Towers were a buck or two apiece. Back before, there's that Hole Breacher. Said something about him just a minute ago. Card was so, uh, so prevalent. Uh, Herborg Tyrant and a Zombie. So I'm guessing he'll never get unbanned. If I had to, if I had to, if I had to really, really put a uh, put a guess on it, Court of Grace, Queen, the Bunny Rabbit, and a Doom Traveler. One last pack. Thank you, Secret Santa, for uh, for opening with me. Thank you for donating a box for the giveaway. Like I said, join the Facebook group, Cracking Packs MTG, and just be active in there because we'll pull the name from a random post. Also, sub to the channel. Oh, a fourth, a fourth land. We'll take it. Not too bad. Not too bad. Sub to the channel. Like the video. Leave me a comment. That way you can get on the giveaways here. We got one more bundle to give away. And probably two, three more booster, booster boxes before the end of the year. So, uh, appreciate you guys joining me. We'll catch you in the next one. And happy holidays.